Tonight, festivities begin for Council Road Baptist Church's Christmas at the Cube event. Oh, I'm curious. Uh -huh. News 9's Tevis Hillis live at the church with more on the holiday plans. Tevis? Lacey, Colby, good morning. Well, we're here in the Christmas Village where they're still setting up, but it's all going to happen this week. And here is the library where kids can get a look and read a fun little book. This year, they're going to read The Day Angels Changed Their Minds. I mean, it's pretty comfortable in there. What do you want to do? Grab a warm hot chocolate, sit in there, read a few books. Well, inside this one is the church where you can find out more information about this Council Road Baptist Church. And also, it's a really fun little setting where kids can just, you know, feel like they're a part of the Christmas Village, even feel like a Hallmark movie, kind of. Now, over here is the post office where kids can come and write letters. Not only, no, we're not writing letters to stand this year, we're actually going to do some, make a difference. They're going to be writing to prisoners and to refugees, so something pretty interesting. Now, they're also going to have karaoke right here, but it's all coming down. I'm here with Pastor Clint Chamberlain, where he has all the details. Come on, give it, give it to us, please. <laughs> Well, uh, we're looking forward to everybody. December the 11th, we're going to start at 3.30 to about 8.30 right here at the Cube, 7903 Northwest 30th. Love to have you guys. You can pre-register at councilroad.church forward slash advent. That will help you save some time in all the lines and everything else. You can pre-register on your phone, and when you get here, there'll be a line for pre-registration. You'll be able to get there and get connected there. Now, I need to ask, what age group is really, you know, you're inviting? Well, I, I, there's going to be things for all ages. We're going to have petting zoos. We're going to have uh, s'more stations set up where kids are going to be around bonfires. We're going to have pony rides. Uh, there's going to be some s virtual snowball fights and some real snowball fights. I don't know if you saw the snowballs. Oh, I've already, I've already tried tested to Tested that. Okay, very good. <laughs> And uh, they're going to have a snowman building contest. We're going to have inflatable. So really all ages. And even in the snowball fight, we're just trying to be sensitive to allow people to, we're going to kind of segregate ages. So the younger ones will be on one side and the older ones. And also we've tried to provide, just because of this little thing called COVID we've all been dealing with, uh, outdoor spaces and indoor spaces. So whatever people feel comfortable uh, being a part of. And so our heart for this event really is, uh, for our community to come. It's been a hard year and a half. And so just to provide something for our community to be able to come and just kind of bring in and celebrate Christmas. Now you want to celebrate Christmas and what type of celebration are you all having? I know it's all fun and games. Yeah, it is fun and games, but at six o'clock, we're going to shut down all activities and we're going to go over to our main worship center, which is just south across the street on 30th. And we're going to have a Christmas concert. It's going to last about 45 minutes. So it's not going to be a long thing, but just familiar carols and songs that we're used to. And then we're going to open every Everything back up until 8.30 on Saturday just to continue and carry on with that. Well, sir, thank you for joining you us bet. today. You have this weekend to have some fun Christmas activities. We'll have more on the News 9 app. In Bethany, Tavis Oklahoma Zone News 9.